installed ClickSense, you must log in with your Click account for ClickSense Cloud or ClickSense Desktop. For Enterprise, log in to the ClickSense Enterprise Server. In this video, we are using ClickSense Desktop. You can begin by creating an app and giving it a name. Once your app has been created, you can add data to your app quickly by connecting to your data source using one of the built-in connectors that are automatically installed by ClickSense. Or, you can use data from the Click Data Market. In this example, we are using an Excel worksheet as a data sheet. You can easily drag and drop a worksheet into ClickSense. To create your data model, you should start with the most important table first. After you have uploaded the first table, you can upload more data by following the same steps. After your second data table has been uploaded, you can associate the tables. As you can see, the table is highlighted in green. This means that the associations are highly recommended. You can add more tables if needed. In this example, we add the item master table. As you can see, the association with the customer table is not recommended while the association with the sales table is marked in green, so we choose the second option. The process can be repeated for all of the tables that you need to upload. Some associations are marked in orange. This is a medium recommendation. In this case, the proposed association is between city code and sales quantity. Since we don't want to connect these two fields, we separate the table and search for more recommended associations. After you have created your data model, you can start creating your visualizations. The data that you have uploaded will be available in the Fields tab. To start creating your visualization, you simply need to choose the chart that best suits your needs, and then add the dimensions and measures that you want to use in your analysis. In this example, we created a pie chart that shows the sales by region. You can then modify the appearance of the visualization by adding a title, and modifying the colors, the format, the data sorting, and so on. Click supports different types of visualizations and many others can be added as extensions. We are going to create a bar chart showing the top five customers. To do this, we add customer as the dimension and the sum of sales as the measure. We then reduce to five the number of values that will be shown in the visualization. Each chart has its own customization options. This allows you to create the visualization that you need. In some charts, such as the line chart, you can add more than one dimension. Here, we add the dimensions year and quarter to show the quarterly sales trend among different years. The order of the dimensions can be switched, so you can choose which dimension will be showed in the axis and which one will be highlighted by color. In the combo chart, for example, you can use two measures. Next, we add sales and margin, and then we choose to show the margin measure as a line. And that concludes this brief introduction. Thanks for watching.